Okay, so for the proof, uh, the way I like to do it is with the unit circle. So you start off drawing the unit circle and then mark in two angles, um, A and B. And um, yeah, we can go with A being the bigger angle and B being the smaller angle. So this would be the point cos B sine B. And this would be the point cos A uh, sine A. And using coordinate geometry formula, the distance between them, L squared, is cos B minus cos A squared plus sine A. Oh, well, I should keep the order the same, not that it matters for the expansion. But sine B minus sine A squared. So that will be cos squared B minus 2 cos a cos b plus cos squared a plus sine squared b minus 2 sine a sine b uh, plus sine squared a but cos squared and sine squared is 1 and cos squared and sine squared is 1 so that's 2 minus 2 cos a cos b uh, minus 2 sine a sine b okay now for the next part you use the cosine rule to get the distance so l squared and this is a unit circle so it's one squared plus one squared minus twice one times one times cos the angle in between which will be a minus b so that's two minus two cos a minus b and since they're both equal to l squared you can make them equal 2 minus 2 cos a cos b minus 2 sin a sin b equals 2 minus 2 cos a minus b you can cancel these two and dividing by minus 2 you'll get cos a minus b equals cos a cos b um, 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 plus sine a sine b now it's not much left now to get it into the um, form that we need basically we have the cos a minus b formula here but the question was looking for um, sine a plus b so a substitution will do that for us if we replace a with 90 uh, sorry yeah a with 90 degrees minus alpha um i think that might do it so this would be cos uh, and then just to keep the letters the same replace b with beta so that would be cos 90 degrees minus alpha minus beta equals now cos of 90 minus alpha that becomes sine there's a rule in the formula book that says that if you if you move it by 90 degrees you can change your cos into sine so that would become sine alpha and that stays as cos beta oh sorry i never cancelled the two here apologies uh, and then here um that sine would shift to a cos Um, cos alpha and then that's unaffected and this 90 here I forgot to say makes it shift as well if you want to take it as like 90 minus and put this in brackets alpha plus beta so that shifts it as well uh, well I'll write on the next line so that becomes sine alpha plus beta equals sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta so that's the sine a plus b rule although unfortunately i finished up with alpha and beta it would have been better in hindsight to call these alpha and beta and swap them for a and b in the end but it doesn't matter it's only an arbitrary label okay i'm going to break this video up into two parts and some people might not be interested in the proof